his motor down and his buddy is busy circling up above but Brick and them has got the dinghy in the water now I'm sure they're probably going to try and offer to pull him somewhere. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Morning. It is a little bit choppy. We're doing eight knots here over the banks, and Peter is trying to get the video out. Busy with voiceovers. Pietro is having a cup of coffee at the helm. Uh, the sun just came up and we saw it somewhere over there. And we are now on our way to Port Lauderdale to pick up our anchor chain a new one so we got the new one but it is it's a nice day for sailing the sails are out but as you can hear the engine is on as well because there's not much wind the sea is flat 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 but there's just just enough wind to shape the sails and we use Yanmar the, the Yanmar wind to help the <laughs> help get more wind and then we get a knot or two out of this extra above what the engines can give us. Clammy day for sailing. But besides having a beer, what else do we have to do? Get our hands white, just look at this. But not all sailing, sunshine, blue Bahamian waters, and cocktails. Also keeping Sisu clean and polished. But wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> Never ending. We're still on our way, but ah, as you can see, pretty busy doing all sorts of polishing and try to get the UV protection on. But check this out. So you see that system over there? That is the blow that everyone expects or expect without an S. Look at all the super yachts racing. That's another one. Here's another one. They all race to get back to, I don't know, Florida. But yeah, so we are thinking we will now anchor tonight at Highborn Key. And then use this blow, the blow, to get to Florida. It will be actually super excellent sailing weather to get to Florida. It's 
so the wind is wind is busy picking up I think it's time to drop the engines let's see what will happen are we staying the same speed we're dropping maybe oh, oh, oh. seems like we will be there still before before sunset okay that was literally seconds ago and look at the wind we are going already eight knots that cold front is on us like Pedro said from bikini to Jersey in two seconds I say from engines to 8.6 knots in seconds wow but it is yeah we need to make sure that because we need to start reefing at this at 20 but the sea is quite good but just to be sure i think and do let out a little bit of more of main And the way I do it is I'm looking at the rudder. If you look at the rudder, you see that the rudder is really working very hard. So the more main I'm leading, letting out, so I'm, I'm letting out more main. And you will see the rudder will start working less. And as it starts working less, we're busy balancing the boat and we're maintaining our speed of 8 knots of our boat speed 7 knots you see we are now less we are about 10 degrees we're still doing good so be ready the main in the hand when you know something's going to happen and just let it go if you can depower the main under these conditions when there's a blow coming like a cold front this is where you want to be so we we see we're on a collision course with this dudes and they've been all the time with us and these guys just decided oh okay maybe they i don't know what they're doing are they dropping the main as well? I think they're dropping the main too. No, that cannot be because the wind angle is not right for dropping the main yet. But we were definitely in a race as you know, two boats on the horizon, we're on a race. It's a cold front coming in, the blow, but we're actually using that to get to our place and tomorrow we will use that to get to Florida. So he did drop his sails and as you can see it's over there. Without any sails, just motoring at 7 knots. Man, that is fast motoring. And I think she's is doing good. We should try to get that Genoa but it's a reef so it doesn't want to work well so it's flapping flapping and as you can see <laughs> it's getting quite sporty out here so Pietro took over while I was in a video we turned and look at that the mine is coming down oh! And she's losing her hat. It's really, really crazy. Yeah? <laughs> so we just need to let them, the main alliot go as much as we can. And if the main doesn't drop completely, I will need to go up. Okay. Oh, I think maybe we should do something about slamming the boom. Yeah. 
Pietro is doing all of this. I'm just bring it a little bit up. And it's basically to protect the strut. That's not a bang, it's a strut. So I think this looks good. The main is still up. You still have like what? 24 knots of true wind, 25 knots of apparent wind. But we have the engines on. And we're doing it around 2000 RPM. Maybe we'll do better because we're just doing three knots. So let's get this party going. And the next morning, bam, just like that, the complete opposite of the day before. It was calm enough to bring out the big go deep. just not just left five o'clock this morning we left the US hopefully we will be arriving just before the custom office close and then we will check in in Bahamas and that will be the start of our journey south to Grenada we've got our new chain so there's a brand new galvanized chain and this is about the only reason why we went to the states is just to get the chain there because they no one could bring it for us in obama so we went back to the us to pick up our chain and now we are ready to go further so um we have an ais problem and i still don't know what is the problem maybe i should go and climb the mast and check out the antenna over there but the radio is working we can see other boats other boats can see us but every now and then it will just lose the the signal or says connection lost and then just beep 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 and then the connection is restored and everything goes on as as usual but it is just occasionally we will lose and then all these boats will disappear you see we can see the boats quite that one is 20 miles from us so we see that boat um, so i don't know i've checked the connections i pulled every connection on the ias and the ias splitter and i spray corrosion x on it still not keep on beeping so the next one is getting up the mast so we will do that but in the meanwhile let's see what Bahamas is have in stock for us and we will just be in a Bahamas just as just going through and then we will start picking up the other countries that we missed during COVID times when it came up the wind just picked up now from there jumping up to 31 knots maximum <laughs> Pietro is busy making videos and outside looks crazy. So sunshine and so on, but you can you can see that all is 
is much deeper than that one. Check this. This water here. So compare this one. With this one. Yep, it's crazy. And we have to bring our lights in as well. We already reefed on a on a Genoa and we also reefed on a main and it's very windy. We are in the Bahamas if you have not noticed that. We just checked in and we decided we want to rather stay at the reefs which might not be a very good idea <laughs> but from now on there's not going to be any wind so this is a blow that's coming now so we have some wind so we can sail and um, so we use it now to just get to the outer reefs in the upper coast and then we will start following that next month is hurricane season so <laughs> Well, not even next month, in a few days, according to the insurance. Um, so hopefully we will be out of here before hurricanes come or we will be in a position where we can sail south to avoid the hurricanes if they come from, from east to west, which I normally do. But there is every now and then this guy that just doesn't listen to the rules. <laughs> they come from anywhere, any direction. But at this moment we cannot go south because of the Gulf Stream. It's a, that's a quite inhibitor and now the Abacos and then Cuba is also south of us. So you need to get, a, get around that. But after that, there's always a nice beeline straight south, which we are trying to, to get to. So we need to go through the Bahamas and try to get to a place where if the hurricane comes, we can go south. Oh, there's another sailboat. Swell seeker. Well, 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 swell seeker. You found some swells. Okay, there's the sailing vessel. It's got his main sail up. So he's doing quite okay. Doing seven knots. And we are also going about eight knots. And you can, <laughs> you can see the whoa, water spray coming over the bow. <laughs> Check how much water is going to run down here. <laughs> so we lost another one of our cockpit cushions and the captain in... Oh God, <laughs> we've got about 25 to... 26 apparent wind and um, we're like kind of in a hoofty and he's gone and fetched the cushion but it's a mission to launch the dinghy from the boat because this is hectic seas so we filled the Genoa we've only got the main on we're in on wind vane zero a uh, wind vane zero and um, yeah so we're basically just bobbing around here now and the main is on reef one. Yeah, so we don't often video drama. And in my nervous state, I remember to grab the GoPro, which is not, this is not funny. This is serious stuff. And now I need to grab the cushion. I don't know what he sees in the water. Just 
we lost a cockpit cushion the other day and we couldn't retrieve it, but today we can. So if a choice, we're just going to drag it. We don't normally drag the bags, but um, it's way too dangerous for Frick to get into it now. Oh, and this is rough seas. Okay, so we're worried that the dinghy line is going to chafe there in the front. So, but he's rigging a secondary line. Oh. Guys, there's no. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's our dinghy, our car, our only dinghy. If we lose it, we Not our fancy one. We can't jump into another one to go and retrieve this one. <laughs> Black line will also provide some stretch. Now this looks much better. Okay, let's see if we can get to that little island and get some protection for the night because we had enough fun. Yep. Okay, this was fun in games. Anchored in 24 knots of wind without me and Pietro is shouting at each other. It is really pumping, but we found a little island. Not much protection, but much better than this. Now we need to go find Tipex and bring Tipex in. <laughs> Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life 